She was the girl who loved Napoleon Dynamite, who grabbed the heart of the nation in her struggle with leukemia. Mary Elizabeth Paris died yesterday at the age of 12. So I have stayed in close contact with Mary Elizabeth's family for a year, sharing her victories and her setbacks. We all began to worry when her mother's post to their 10,000 followers on Facebook got more and more desperate. Time and options were running out. Yesterday, Mary Elizabeth died. We want to take a look back at the girl who brought so many together. One year ago this week, when other kids were trudging off to middle school, Mary Elizabeth Paris was at Children's Aflac Cancer Center, preparing for a bone marrow transplant that would hopefully save her. She minimized her suffering. I'm feeling good. I'm just having a little bit of pain. When you're a kid and you have cancer, your nurses are your friends. I'm always bored. On this day, they did not disappoint, transforming Mary's room to a sea of glowing gold. We learned that this is how she said goodbye to her nurses, emulating her hero from the movie Napoleon Dynamite. We asked the real Napoleon to say hi to her. Hey, how's it going, Mary Elizabeth? I heard that you're a pretty big fan of mine, and that's pretty cool, I guess. Actor John Heater did one better, his video going viral and introducing the nation to Mary Elizabeth on the Today Show. So I heard your nurses decorated your room and made it all gold. That's like pretty much the best color of all time. I just want to bid you adieu with the presentation of the butterfly lotus. Mary Elizabeth's diagnosis was acute myeloid leukemia. She received multiple bone marrow transplants. She fought with everything she had, winning short-lived victories. But always the cancer came roaring back, taking more and more out of this sweet girl who just wanted to get home to her cats and her brother and sister. The doctors told Steve and Mandy Paris they couldn't cure Mary Elizabeth. Her parents never gave up, scouring the nation for trials or any new drugs, lamenting and raging against a system that only gives 4% of federal funding for childhood cancer. That's just the hardest, not being able to help her. Mary Elizabeth died on a Wednesday morning, her family with her. Mandy shared words all parents pray to never write. She's gone. If tears or love could have saved her, she would have lived a million more years. My miracle. I can't give up, and I know God's always there for me. Four percent. That is all our kids get from federal funding is four percent. It has to change. Mary Elizabeth's parents say that they will keep fighting to raise more money for research so that other families won't have to experience the loss that they have. We'll be right back.